That's all right, don't worry about it. We're just standing outside. You're not, you're not supposed to video here. It's a private property. All right, why is that? You just got, it, it, it's, I could call the police on you because it's a... Uh, Calm down. A risk place. I just want, you can't video on there. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at Collins Aerospace in Wolverhampton. Now this place uh, has been recommended by a subscriber because of what it says on here. Now private property no trespassing and look at that last bit. Unmanned aerial vehicles permitted. Unmanned aerial vehicles permitted. So does that say if there's not a man in the vehicle in the air then you are allowed shouldn't that say unmanned aerial vehicles not permitted <laughs> so i think they're trying to say they don't want unmanned aircraft i.e drones across their their area their business their their land but the sign seems to be worded incorrectly these premises are protected by 24-hour surveillance blah 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 but we'll just have a look at one of the other signs just to see if it was a, a misprint on that or whether they are saying we don't want so it's not permitted so these guys here they make stuff to do with the aerospace industry now on a business like this they're not going to publicize exactly what they do but let's find out let's see what information we can get from uh, anybody that we meet today there is a lot of uh, scaffolding over there so they're doing some renovations to the buildings but yeah let's see what we can find so reading the sign again let's read it as no trespassing or unmanned aerial vehicles permitted so no no trespassing no unmanned aerial vehicles permitted that would be somebody working it out at a second glance but is that clear enough so the company seems to have grown so much that they've gone for these sort of mobile office option rather than building a new structure but they look like they're permanent They've got all paths going round and aircon inside them. It's not like a temporary solution, but I wonder what made them choose this cheap method. And here we come to the staff entrance. Nice and secure look with the turnstiles. Yeah, it is locked. You mate? Can't hear ya. Can't hear you, mate. What are you videoing? Sorry? What are you videoing? Oh, it's alright, don't worry about it. We're just standing outside. You're not, you're not supposed to video here. It's a private property. Alright, why is that? You just got, it, it, it's, I could call the police on you because it's a Calm down. high risk place. I just want, you can't video on there. Can you turn it off now rather than video on me? You can't call the police. Can you stop videoing me, please? Um, yeah, alright, I'll uh, film this way, mate, yeah? No, you're not supposed to be videoing this place. Oh, I, I can. I'll film it. Sorry, mate, uh, let's just uh, understand what, what you're trying to mean? say. We're just out on the public footpath, mate. Yeah, but you're you videoing, you videoing this place now. No, we just came over to talk to you. Okay, well, I, all I asked was why are you videoing me? Because if you look around the building, can you stop videoing me, please? My friend, you've just called us over to talk to us. We was out there filming, weren't we? I had reports about people filming, you should, it's a high, high security place, it shouldn't be being filmed. I just found my box. I'm not sure what the problem is. We're just going to go back to the public footpath, all right? Because you did call us over, didn't you? Yeah, thank you while you were videoing. Have you finished with us now? Can, oh, carry on. can we go back? Yeah, thank you, mate, thank you. That was strange, weren't it? We were just standing here on the public footpath making our video and he calls us over to say stop videoing how bizarre I don't understand that so yeah it looks like they are um, in the middle of doing some roof works and you'll notice on the top there where they've got fire extinguishers 
So they are conscious of health and safety and they've got all the handrails up there on the top, on the height. You know, the working at height regulations are being followed, that's for sure. And you'll notice over there on the roof, you'll see loads and loads of insulation. So that must be what they're doing at the moment, insulating the roof to give, uh, give it more efficiency and keep the heat inside a bit more. Is that what they're doing at the minute, mate? Putting some insulation on the roof? Oh, if you're, if you're busy, mate, that's fine. Sorry to interrupt, sorry. So you would say that a site like this would be secure, but look how long the barrier's been up for. I mean, this looks like to be the exit, but nothing stopping uh, a vehicle coming down this lane here and just slipping in, is there? Let's see if the entrance is also as unsecure. Now, the entrance is at least uh, down for now. Maybe it's just the fact that they are, um, they've been interrupted by our presence and they've left the barrier up there. I don't know. But you'll notice inside that they have got the electric charging points. That's good to see. It looks like a really old site and an old building and they're just trying to bring it a bit up to date with uh, adding the insulation on the roof there. I wonder what else they're trying to do to bring this place uh, a bit more up to date. You can notice how the most recent paintwork, that's a, a nice modern gray color there. And you've got some bits across the top of the windows just to give it a nice modern look. Even the windows themselves look quite new. And obviously the turnstiles do look new as well. It's good how they're trying to keep their privacy with this uh, reflective glass there. Nobody can uh, see inside there, that's for sure. So I think now will be a good time to get the drone out and uh, see what we can see. See if we can see more about this renovations and updating the building. But before we do that, we have got a couple of people just showing an interest. Although we are clearly on the public footpath here, you know, is they've got uh, pedestrian crossings all the way around. So you'll notice as that barrier opens it was because he pressed a button just down there on the side and that button seems to be easily accessible to be honest so yeah the the button to actually open the barrier it's right near the the fence and easily reachable by a member of the public how bizarre is that? How come, James, James, how come you've got a button there that can be reached by a member of the public to open the barrier? That's not very secure, is it? Can you please step off, we own this property. We're okay on that uh, pavement over there, but we own this property. Yeah, that's fine, please James. James, today, you're the first person that's asked us to leave your land. So, okay. thank you very much. No thank but I, before I do leave, are you able to just, um, do you know the button? No comment on it at all. Well, James, would, would you take that as a, as a suggestion from myself that that, no, should not be, no. that that should not be in reach of a member of the public? That is a security oh breach. If you'd like to step off the land, okay. or else we'll phone the police. Yeah, I will, I will be leaving, James, but no, no, I, I, so I'm asking you to leave now. James, be, I'm not going to before, before you ask me to leave, I ask my question. I'm asking you one more time to leave, or else I'll phone the police. James, I am leaving, but the question... At least oh, yeah. acknowledge it. No, I'll take question okay. on board. We're a secure site. Okay, so so James, Please that's that's a very helpful suggestion. I am leaving now, but by having a button there that somebody can press like this, and they can open your barrier like that, that is not acceptable for your and your directors will see this. That's fine. So fine. that needs to be changed. Please leave. This All right, James. Okay. Now, James. James. 
So I just wanted to show him, like, in real terms, about the risk that that poses. I mean, for a member of the public to actually be able to press that and allow somebody in or allow somebody out, the customers that are involved in this business believe that it's a secure site. Well, <laughs> clearly isn't, is it? You know, what's the point of having turnstiles and stuff when you can just go and let yourself in? Absolutely ridiculous. So here we are. We've checked on drone assist. It's all clear. We are not in a flight restriction zone. So let's go see what we can find.
So yeah, that was the drone footage. We can now see what they're doing on the scaffold with the insulation there as they take the roof panels off, slot that insulation in to retain all the heat that's inside. Now, because the drone went over and they would be very, very sensitive to drones, hence the signs that they've put around, I do expect that the police have been called. So we'll just hang around a little bit, see what, uh, what comes next, because they are certainly on the phones very worried for some reason but as you saw there's nothing really to see and it's it's no different to the google maps plane going over is it you can't really see much else it's not like oh we've, we've just uncovered a drone or a helicopter that's being built here or you've just saw some very, very secretive parts or that uh, rivals or enemies could could use against them there's nothing like that so i don't know what they're worried about to be honest so as we have a look at these last signs here that's the same one about cctv what's this one visitors please report to reception out of hours report to security deliveries to security and contractors to security Quite a very good sign. Yeah. Reception. But yeah, I don't suppose we're going to be able to get to reception though, are we? Is it all secure? No, yeah. They're quite good turnstiles, these are, aren't they? Are they quite a new addition? I can see the concrete's quite new. Could I just ask you a question, sir? No? Doesn't want to answer any questions. I suppose that's because we've already um, been rudely interrupted by the security as soon as we arrived. We didn't really get chance to be on friendly terms with this company, did we? That was just blew out the water straight away. So let's see what else uh, interesting we can see down this way. So as we walk down the perimeter, we notice one of these things. Now, if you have noticed one of these things in the past, these are your local authority doing a survey to see how much traffic goes past. And they'll always be locked up. That's where the brains is in there, the memory. And these cables that go across count exactly how many cars, vehicles go over it in a certain period. And they'll be uh, used for collecting data, maybe changing the sequence of uh, traffic lights or improvements to junctions just to get some data on the flow of traffic. So as we come right down to the perimeter, right down to the edge, it backs onto a normal house there, look. And you've got these supports on the fence so that it never changes its upright position. We like to do gutter watch, don't we? Look at that gutter, the little gap at the top there. So Collins Aerospace, if you're watching, we're doing you a good surface here. We're showing you your maintenance issues. <laughs> We're showing you your security breaches. Well, security weaknesses. And we've just given you a lovely aerial shot from the sky. And you haven't had to pay a penny, have you? And I would make this sign a little bit clearer. No trespassing or, because people are just looking at that. They're not gonna look above. They're just looking at this part. 
should say no. The word no. Well, that's nice, look. That's nice in the little central reservation. Got some sculptures of some animals there. And that's unusual. They've still got their lights on the tree from Christmas. And you'll notice coming down the grass here, the pipe that's trying to hide the cable that's going into the plug just there. They arrived on blues and twos. That's unusual. Yeah, I'm all right. You've not come on blues and twos for us, have you? Yeah, well, yeah. What was the call? Some two people outside with face masks filming. What, and you've decided to come on? You've blue -lighted. I didn't decide. You've blue -lighted I, did, on that. I get dispatched. I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked. What, what are you up to if you don't mind me asking? Hello, mate. What, what we're doing, we're making a video about Collins Aerospace today. Have you got authority in front Sorry? Have you got any authority in front Are you really asking me that question? Yeah. Well, if I have authority to do so, from, to make a video from. about this company. What, what's, the, what's the relevance with the company? Uh, public interest. Public interest, that's all this. Is it going on TV? Uh, of course. It might do, yeah. Alright, oh, okay. If it's good enough. I just can't believe that question that you've just asked. Come on, man. You don't think we do actually need authority, do you? What sort of a business is it? They make uh, aerospace parts. Oh, okay. They make drones and stuff like that. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So there, someone's called you to say someone's making a video about our building and you've come on blue lights. To be fair, they did say we were on private land, so we come and stood over here on the... Uh, Have you been on the, there? They invited us over for a not, chat. Not in the oh, right, uh, premises, okay. no, because obviously it's all gated and you can't get in. Um, but we have been, obviously, as far as you're, you're allowed, obviously. No further. What's the video going to be about? About Collins Aerospace. Everything that we can find out from tell, the outside. Tell me about it. I don't know. Well, well we did, we did hope that they would stop and give us a bit more information, but... They got a little bit hostile and um, yeah, we tried pointing out that they tried saying it was a secure building. However, you see that barrier there. Which one we're looking at? That, this red barrier that's about to open. Oh yeah. Well, you can actually open, any member of the public can walk straight up to that gate and push the button. So mm. we were trying quite trying to say to him that like that's not really the most uh, secure building in the world or secure site. Maybe you could use your footage to um Increase their security. Yeah. Good to done. Do you know why we're here? Every time we go to a site, we try and be helpful and give them little helpful suggestions about what we've found, but maybe they've not noticed. Like for example, they've got the Christmas tree lights on the tree. Yeah, have they forgot? They've all Whereabouts. just down here. Anyway, that, that's a minor thing. But do you know how a member of the public can press that button, like my colleagues just said? That's us saying, look, that's a weakness in your security. While I'm here. Have you pointed that out to them? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've also, do you know how they're, they're putting insulation on the roof? You can notice the scaffold over there. Yeah. That's quite nice to see that they're improving their efficiency on their building because it's an old building. So all these good things that we're pointing out and all the security and the staff want to do is call the police on us. Yeah. So anyway, it's very bizarre to me. I'm very surprised it's happened. What station are you from? Wolverhampton. Do you guys still have to wear masks? Um, is it like still part of your life? Policy. A lot, a lot of it is um, if, you, if you feel that you feel you want to, things like that. Oh, more for your own. It's just pressure. Oh, okay. It's not not forced upon you like to do so. It was. It was, it was but not now. Okay. Oh, Please enough. don't tell me a second unit's on the way as well. Yeah. Oh, this is ridiculous. Right, colour numbers. Is it 1939? 1939. Is that your no, colour number? 4939. 4939. I can see that you're pointing your body worn video camera at myself. Yep. Second unit arrived on Blues and Twos there, as you can see, just for the uh, the footage. Now, you are, if you are filming a member of the public, at the first available opportunity, yep. you're supposed to let them know verbally. Okay. Any reason why you didn't? Uh, I'm not sure what I did to Would you like me to show you the guidance? Okay. That's, we're just trying to. If we can spot something that can help people get better at stuff yeah. while we're doing our video, even better. Now, when I've just took the drone over here, mm -hmm. this company's got signs on the outside telling members of the public that drones are not allowed. Yeah. I feel that's wrong. 
but they're trying to tell the members of the public that's something that you may need to take up with the company uh, hence my visit here today yeah. I'm here to show good and bad suggestions of what I of my experience basically of visiting the company okay. and the fact that two units have come out I mean that's above your pay grade the inspector in the control room has made the call hasn't he that's correct yeah but in hindsight we're very polite we would rather be safe yeah boring. okay that's a good point we don't know your intentions. We don't know your intentions when we get sent to the job. Likewise, they don't know your intentions when they found the job through. Henceforth, we come to make sure that you are A, not up to no good, and B, have the oh, best intentions at heart. Yeah. yeah, so someone with a camera outside, that's enough then. That's enough suspicion, is it? You know how people get jittery and you know, yeah. the way, you know what I mean? The way the, 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 way the current climate is at the moment, with A, what's going on in Ukraine, and it does have an effect across the whole of Europe and onto us sometimes. We can't assume that. No, we're good, are It could be a terrorist defence. Yeah. We always err on the side of caution yeah. and make sure that. Quick question. Nothing, Quick question, you know. Are both of these yeah, units from Wolverhampton? So, have we? Um, are we good? What's your intentions for the rest of the day? We're going around quite a few interesting buildings around this area. <laughs> Do you know if you get called now to say someone's filming in the area? I suppose it's not going to be you getting the call, is it? It's going to be the control room. So, I would just say anything that catches my interest around this area, we've travelled. As you can tell by my accent, I'm not from it, am I? We're not obliged, are we? But no, no, I'm from the Midlands, I'm from the Midlands. Northampton, why? Leicestershire, sort of yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah? Sorry to waste your time. You ain't, you ain't even had to get out your vehicle, have you? I can't, just I'm on the door. Am I stopping you? Am I, uh, what is it called? Obstructing a... Um... Yeah, <laughs> is that what you're going to do before? <laughs> Yeah, it's been pleasant. Do you know, sometimes when we do this, the police do get called, um, but it's normally when things have got a bit, a bit more heated than it did, to be honest. We're so polite on this one. Because sometimes people come go hands-on. What sort of drone have you got? DJI Mini 2, 249 gram. <laughs> Very small, yeah, it's the smallest. There's some eggshell in the front of that car. What's, oh, what's no. the distance so that'll go? You have to stay line of sight, so... I've not really pushed it too far. A friend of mine's got a, one of them. A big one. Giant one. Oh, you have to have them. Um, that goes a long, long way. Long yeah. way. Do you know what, right? With those, just imagine a cylinder being up on any building or people. You can't fly over any building or people with these heavier drones. But with mine, because it's so light, I can go over any building, any person. Can't go in near prisons, airports, festivals. Yep. But yeah, it's common is, sense. Is, is that one that it, when the battery's running low, it'll bring itself back to? Yeah, clever, it, isn't it? It lands itself as well. Very clever. Very clever. So yeah, I think our visit here now. I know what to get my, get my wish to get made business. They're about five hundred quid, so. Cancel that. Yeah, I'll, I'll sack, you might. Sack that idea. You might have to get the old family to club in on that one, mate. <laughs> sack that right. Idea. I feel like I'm now wasting your time and just doing small talk. So I'll let you make your final de final decision. Where are you off to next? As I said, mate, I've got no plans. Okay. We're just in the area going round, right. and this place looked very interesting because it's so big. I thought, oh, that would be a really good shot for the drone. Because it's, I thought we might even see some large drones. Because I thought aerospace, there is a, a picture of a very large drone on the website, and helicopters, stuff like that. I didn't know how much actually they are involved in actually making the end product, or just parts for the end product. I thought it was something to do with wings that they made for like passenger liners. Like that. Yeah, wing, wings maybe for drones yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, but so the drone was mainly to see. Can you now see something that the Google plane didn't see when that went over? You know, so there's a purpose for going over, purpose for filming outside. We always like to make little suggestions and just document our experience. And the guys from Wolverhampton Police Station have been perfectly fine, apart from the little incident with the body worn yeah, video. I We'll, we'll, we'll shave with that, shall we? <laughs> right, I'm going to get off my knees. Do you want to have a conversation? No, no, Are you okay? No, no, no. Yeah. Like you say it's just uh, keeping them, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at the library. <laughs> that does happen now and again, don't it? Yeah. I'm this just 
This is the pride of the fleet. This is, <laughs> this is the best one. <laughs> but it's just quite clean. I give you that. Been doing the car wash this morning. You have? Yeah. That's not like um, a daily routine, is it? Like when you pick the car up. I think it's just a little bit of pride in your car, isn't it? Do you know so what? Here's a question for you, which I saw at a police station yesterday. Do you know when they're refueling? Is it company policy just to fill it? Or, because what I observed yesterday is she must have only put about five pound in. And I'm thinking, why waste your time? It's just quite annoying, isn't it, that you go to a car and it's nearly empty? Yeah, well, if they're there with the nozzle, surely it makes sense just to use that time and fill it. You've spoken to them too as well? Yeah, she was a bit uh, moody, to be honest. But as he was just saying about your car and a bit of pride, well, if you look at her car, it's absolutely disgusting. Oh. A bit of a shame, really, because I thought you two were really nice. This is the way to do it. A nice, clean car. Excellent attitude. That's unusual for a car to come this way, like that. Or maybe it's come from that direction and it wants to go into the... Sorry? What are you doing? Filming, just making a video today about the company. Why? Oh, we're just members of the public, we don't need a reason. You need a reason to be on the property? Yeah, we're not on the property, I'm on public property. Yeah, this is all public, yeah, mate. Public, okay. mate. Right. Even the road, it's all public road. Okay, has anyone been out to see you? Uh, there's two, uh, two police cars there, police units. Yeah. yeah. Anyone from the company? Yeah, yeah, loads. Yeah. The, the company has called the police on us just to make yeah. sure that we're okay. Yeah, What's your position? I well, presume, because you're asking the questions, you must be high up. What difference is it? Might I just ask what you were up to? In yeah, well, you, you know, can ask. Stop me who I am. So, like, I'm just asking you who you are. In the same way that you, I'm a member of the public. Yeah. Oh, okay, no worries. Thank All you. good, yeah? Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Enjoy your day. Nice car. You must be on a good wedge. <laughs> Isn't it? Look at that, the X3. The X3 is definitely on the uh, higher payroll. If only we could afford one of them. So the police are now having a conversation. All good, yeah? The police are now having a conversation uh, between themselves about what's going on. And obviously some of the workers are a bit uh, unsure of actually what's happening out here. He says, has anybody spoke to you? Uh, yeah, you've got two police cars there. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So it's obvious that whatever's happening inside this building is very, very sensitive. And they're, they're very uh, secretive and protective of it. So. I don't think we're going to see anything else of this place. The police are now pulling up. Oh yeah, they're pulling up for the traffic lights. The traffic lights are on red. So as we see the police leave here, we're going to call that a day and move on. The gentleman that you had your interaction with. Yeah. They were quite professional and uh, seemed like, you know, a little bit of a uh, small talk. Yeah. The uh, female that turned up afterwards had a right stinking attitude. Well, BVA, I'm looking forward to watching your video on that one because I certainly didn't well, it was just, that. It was just the way she looked. It was kind of like, okay, okay, and then turned her nose up at me, you know? Those two, that is exactly how it's done, to be fair. I, I literally cannot fault those two. Um, so unit number one has now left, but unit number two seems to have just stayed there, even though the traffic light's on green. So maybe they are sort of hanging around just to make sure we leave, which I'm not too keen on, to be honest. I'm not too keen on a car staying there, trying to entice us to leave. So let's see how this one goes. Because she is indicating this way. that was waiting for the next job to come in. So here they go, responding to an emergency. That explains it. They was putting the postcode in of the next job so that they can uh, respond as quickly as possible. So we'll just say our goodbyes to these guys. All good, yeah? We're going now. Yeah, I don't think they want to say goodbye. Oh, it looks the unit had to go up there to come back. So maybe they should have just come in and turned right. 
So whoever's uh, waiting for this car, whoever's waiting for this car to arrive has had a slight delay. Although they put the address in into the sat nav, <laughs> they still didn't go the correct way. They still got it wrong. Oh dear. Not very good, is it? So we'll just say our goodbyes to the guys here and then we'll leave. But they look like they're hiding away now. So yeah, I am going to call it a day on this one. We're going now, mate, all right? We're going now. It's nice to meet you, okay? Nice to meet you. Yeah, so if you have enjoyed that video, guys, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.